This is not happening. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a glam look, bronzy, smoky eye that all my clients always ask for. So if you wanna see how I achieve this warm, brown, smoky, but natural, glam, soft cut, crease, winged liner, graphic line, keep on watching. Don't know why. Click, it's really not okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with the primer. I've already moisturized my face with the peptide hydrating complex this one is by arcona los angeles absolutely love for primer i normally do the cover effects mattifying primer kind of in the center of the face where i develop most of my oil i do this on my clients as well those that are kind of like a combination oily and for today i'm going to be using something i've never tried uh, the mark jacobs dew drops so super excited to try these oh my hands are so slippery. I just love the bottles as well. They're always so bougie. Ooh, let's have a look. Love. So the thing with um, kind of glowy primers, I pop them everywhere that I didn't pop the mattifying primer. Just to give your skin a nice glow. Not gonna look too pretty. Okay. That's better for now. I look like a little schoolgirl after school, hun. Okay, so next I'm gonna be using my favorite foundation. This is the Fenty, Be Fenty Beauty. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. So with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, you need to work quite quickly. I'm using the It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Number no. Seven brush. It's a double-ended brush. Been using this for about three, four months straight, and I really like that it kind of airbrushes everything quite nicely. I'm just gonna be concealing. I'm using the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in L7 Warm. So I'm just gonna keep that lower, not right up to my eyes. Um, and then down the bridge of my nose as well. So a good tip is to do the line nice and thin to kind of give you that really thin nose effect. And because this concealer dries a lot, I actually leave it there for a little while so it kind of does the contouring for me. Well, I recommend going in with something hydrating right underneath the eyes and for that I'm going to use the Rainforest of the Sea um, in light neutral. And I am just love this doe foot applicator, I'm just going to pop that there and there. For blending, I'm going to use the Zoeva 135 Petite Face Definer, so it's nice and tapered. It's really good under the eyes, just to really blend that. Now this is the new Nudies Tinted Blur Stick, it's actually kind of like a foundation um, yeah, it's kind of like a foundation. I have it in a deep shade, deep number eight. Love. Super nice, easy contoured look. Okay, I am going to show you my new favorite under eye setting powder. That is a Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. Finely milled, buttery, no flashback, no talc love and obsessed with this little lid thank you cover effects for that the amount of powder that i inhale whew, hun slightly contour anastasia dark brown brow is of course my all-time favorite I want to try my best to stick to one palette so that it's a little bit easier for you guys to recreate at home. Let's just start with Desert Dusk. Now this is going to be the look kind of like what all my clients ask for when they say like, oh, smoky, but natural, but bronzy. And I'm like, I got you girl. Desert Sand, just to get 
a nice all over color on the eyes. And I can just use this big giant mirror here. Then we're gonna go in with Eden and work that into the crease. And I'm using a Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And I'm kind of taking that out with barely anything on the brush just to elongate the eyes. Same brush, I'm going to grab Amber. It's just the next color. It's more of a red orange. Into the crease. And I'm focusing most of that above the crease, not on the crease. Because I'm creating depth. I'm gonna grab Oud or Oud. Well, Oud or Oud. Oud. Um, this brown shade. It's like a rich chocolate brown. Take that mostly on the outer edge. I'm grabbing this big fluffy brush because I want it to be nice and diffused and not too precise. Again, most of my looks aren't very precise. It's just not my style. Like I love to get into like the whole cup crease spam thing, but it's just not my style and not exactly what my clients are after. So, so I'm gonna grab Amber with this NARS number 14 brush. Take it underneath the eyes. And a bit of Oud. I'm going to pop her underneath. And then a little bit of Oud right across this part here, which is like the outer edge, and then bring it up into the corner. Blend it anyway. And maybe a bit of Eden and blend it like kind of like onto the lid that's a bit bare. I'm just gonna grab a dab of that with the NARS, another NARS brush. Focus this on the outer edge. See how it's just much darker? Yeah. I don't know why I'm shaking. And then a little bit underneath just to connect it. And then blend with the clean brush. I have this chrome pot by Tarte. It's the Park Avenue Princess Park. Sorry, chrome paint. To blend the two colors together, I'm just gonna tap with whatever's on the excess of this um, NARS brush that we used before, just to blend the edges. But I'm gonna add Celestial. It's gonna press that in the center. It's got a bit of like a pink reflect too, which is kind of nice. It's catching the light really well. Oh, it's got a hella pink reflect. Okay. Let's change the entire look without even wanting to. Yay. I just want to show you guys the difference. Without lashes, just mascara. So the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. And then Wish. Wish. <laughs> and then with lashes. So these are the Huda Beauty Samanthas. I like to squeeze my real lashes with the falsies so that it's nice and seamless. I just bought this Anastasia Amrezy highlighter and I haven't even opened it. So let's open it together. Probably gonna break it. <gasps> Stunning. I've been such an Anastasia fan for all these years and Amrezy, I got to meet her a few years ago when I flew over for the Anastasia Halloween party. That was in like end of 2015, so it was so long ago, but Amara was just like exactly as she is online, like she looked the same. Like skin was just smooth, and she was so, 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 so lovely. I haven't actually tried this. Okay, wait, where is it? Let's do it again. Oh, she's so thin. She's like so finely milled, you can just like layer her. Got a new lip liner the other day from Makeup Forever. It is the number 2C. So, this all over. 
overdraw heavily. Now I'm going to grab an oldie but a goodie and that is Mac Myth. And we're done. No. We're going to blend the hell out of that. And we're going to seal the deal with the Fenty Beauty Beauty Fenty Beauty Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. That is it. That is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below what you guys want to see because, you know, I'm actually going to start filming, like I said, about a year and two years ago and three years ago. I'll see you in my next video, whatever it might be. Bye.